Good afternoon, everybody. I'm uh, Brad Power once again, and I am the uh, director of the Economic Development Department for the City of Longmont, uh, where I've been for the past 17 months. And as Randall mentioned before that, I uh, was an 18-year veteran with the City of Boulder and worked on uh, among the projects where was Crossroads Mall, St. Julian Hotel, various infill and other redevelopment projects for the city over those years. Uh, Longmont, uh, the Economic Development Department, is a little bit different than I think a lot of people conceive what a typical economic development department is. It's only about a couple years old, and I'm serving as the initial director. And we really concentrate on four things. We have the city's planning function um, that incorporates both looking over the horizon, so our comprehensive plan, obviously transportation planning, uh, and all of our development review functions, develop, uh, building inspection, those types of things are in our group. And uh, obviously, as the name implies, the economic development function is housed in our office. We have various incentive programs that we apply to both primary employers who are in the community already and those who are looking to come to the community, in addition to other commercial and small business uh, incentive programs. And then I think one of the exciting areas that we're getting into, and I'll talk about this in a little bit, which is the whole issue of redevelopment in that community. And so we have created a uh, redevelopment manager uh, and we are uh, going forward with that program uh, in a really different way uh, at the very beginning of next year. There are about 25 of us total in the department, and it's my privilege to, uh, to lead their efforts. Uh, second of all, I'd like to thank the Boulder County Business Report, uh, Chris, and all the sponsors for having me here today. I really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, I want to talk briefly uh, in my short time about the Longmont uh, station area and some of the issues we have relative to looking over that horizon toward transit and other types of development uh, in the community. I think we're all aware of kind of the history of the fast tracks, the ups and downs and the ins and outs of what's coming, what's coming when, what's not coming, what's going to happen. And Longmont certainly has not been immune to the ups and downs of both the economy and also the timing of fast tracks. However, it's our firm belief and notion that at some point uh, we will start off with bus service coming up from um, Denver through Boulder and the regional northern terminus will be um, just south of our downtown. And it's also anticipated that at some point in the future that we'll also have the rail service. Uh, but thinking backward, uh, after Fast Tracks in the 04 election, um, the combination of the city and RTD started to take a look at, all right, what does this service mean? Uh, in terms of where it should be located in the community, what are the opportunities uh, that come along with uh, where the stations should be. And the first notion would be maybe it should belong out at the southwest part of the city, uh, kind of the emerging growing area of the city, uh, around an area that's not really growing right now, which is Twin Peaks Mall. Uh, so that was the initial place where maybe we think about uh, locating the site there in terms of the northern terminus. Then RTD look at a couple of different sites, um, the so-called mill sites in, in the city. Uh, there's the flour mill um, on the uh, just southwest of uh, downtown, which is actually very adjacent to where we're going to be speaking of uh, in terms of our transit station. And then the sugar mill, which is on the east side of the city uh, on Highway 119. Uh, ultimately, the area around the, the flour mill uh, was chosen as the locus for uh, the future transit. Um, opportunities, uh, especially because that made the obvious terminus for the rail site with the tracks right there. Um, then the economy tent, and various issues happened relative to the timing of RTD's endeavors to, to plan some of these stations. The city's ability, frankly, to financially afford uh, a $100,000 plus master plan at that time, uh, we couldn't swing it uh, in terms of what's been happening on the municipal level and with our various budgets. And also, obviously, the un uncertain timing with the real estate economy and where that's sitting, where that's going forward. So it was put on hold. Um, but I'm happy to say that uh, through the auspices of uh, Phil Greenwald, who is our transportation planner in our department, and other uh, folks in the city, we secured some federal funding uh, that we're actually going to get back in the game uh, next year. And we're starting with our stationary master plan um, in the uh, area. This is one of the very first looks, uh, so this isn't a plan, this isn't something that was adopted by either uh, RTD or certainly our city council, but it was just an initial look at what some of the things could happen. Um, around there, the kind of the heart of the dot is the station area. Uh, it's right just at First and Main, uh, so if you can conceive of where the heart of downtown is, it really starts with Third Avenue, so this is very close to the historic heart of the community. And so what, what I think we should see going forward is um, Longmont has, over the last 10 or 15 years, if you think of the community, 
Uh, everything that's really been new and all the new development has largely been concentrated south and west of Hover. And that's everything from primary employers to large housing subdivisions to a lot of new retail. And so what we see for this part of the central area of the community is a huge amount of potential for something that Longmont is just, as I mentioned at the very beginning, is just now starting to comprehend, which is the whole issue of infill and redevelopment. And when you think about these areas, uh, the main street of downtown has some development capacity. This area certainly has huge development capacity. We have a major urban renewal project, uh, an, an urban renewal plan that was put in place uh, that incorporates the station area and also incorporates this essentially from mill to mill, as I call it. And if all that land is eventually annexed, that could be up, up to about 300 acres in size of development potential just immediately south of the historic heart of the community. And so that's what I think we're going to be working on, and it's going to be kind of a generational approach. And so the city is investing some things. There's some things happening downtown with investments and some of the incentive programs that they have there. I mentioned some of the incentive programs that we have in our department. There's the whole notion of using that urban renewal capacity through tax increment financing and other means to try to drive uh, redevelopment into this district. The city um, is obviously going to be planning for this station area in concert with RTD to bring those types of trips here. Um, the city's putting some additional infrastructure, Boston Avenue, which is just to the south of this area, is going to be extended east, which will open up another uh, 50 or 60 acres for redevelopment in the future. So one of the things that I think that, that one of my takeaways is as it, as it relates to this TOD opportunity is I don't think we harbor any illusions that this project alone or this station, be it bus, rail, or both, will drive the market. We see the market being played out as this being a portion of it. Uh, so this project ne won't necessarily make a market, uh, but what we see as the city starts to run out of its green fields, and that day is, is not very far off, um, frankly, we start to look inward and we start to look for these sites that are close to the historic core of the community, close to a lot of the civic amenities um, in the community as well. And we think in addition to the transit, there's some other things that will drive development in this area over time. And we're very excited to carry forward on the plans. It'd be very nice if the real estate economy would cooperate with us as we can all appreciate. Um, but we're gonna get back in the game, as I said, uh, and start this station area plan. It will be one of the linchpins for the efforts that we're gonna have um, in that very key portion of the community going forward. And I'll be glad when the time comes to answer any questions. Thanks.